Hi, Tim Bigham for Delta Derivatives, Option Hedges and Edges, powered by the best option scanning tools on the market today, rbtrader.com. And looking at a market that's almost as hot as the Chicago weather here, certainly the volatility is to say the least. So the market actually poked its head uh, higher today. Last I looked though, selling off back towards unchanged. Be interesting to see, given that China is virtually closed until after Labor Day, you know, what transpires come next week post Labor Day holiday. Uh, certainly we're at uh, kind of that critical area, the old October lows from last year on the S&Ps, I think need to hold convincingly here before we can appreciably kind of put in a floor. Other than that, I think it will be a very wide trading range. Given the fact that the VIX is still hovering right around that 30 area, I favor selling out of the money call spreads here right near uh, kind of the old highs before we broke down here so looking at the SPY that kind of 196 level 1960 on the S&Ps I think we'll have trouble piercing through that even if we get a rally here going forward other than that uh, as always being more opportunistic than tactical using those option scanners saw a big big volume on Monday on Abbott Labs saw a huge buyer on the September 46 calls drove the implied volatility up about 20 vol points from 27 to almost 47 calls were up 80 cents with the stock up 30 cents and these are a 50 delta option so I took advantage of that bought some shares sold those sub 46 calls to kind of capture that implied volatility spike to say the least and also lean with that order flow abbott's a one that has struggled here so kind of a value stock if there is one in this environment also looking at sune which is continuing to see big big volume here one of our analysts uh, mark klein uh pointed to the fact that uh, the valuations here when the stock broke below 10 started to look fairly compelling this is a huge hedge fund holding so on that one selling some out of the money puts positioning and be a buyer on any further weakness from here and as far as more option insider trades you know we're looking uh, today on twitter with rumors of carl icon maybe taking a stake here so we'll see if that transpires twitter always seems to be in the back of everyone's mind kind of rumbling as far as the rumor mill going so until next week this is tim bigham and as always and especially this in market environment keep those position sizes in place take care and here's the good trading